Hey everybody, it's Maria at Read, Create, Repeat Homeschool. This is my first video. Uh, I thought I would do a booktube video and do the newbie tag. So here we go. Uh, first question, and I'll link who created the tag down below because I did not check. So first question is, why do you want to join booktube? I want to join booktube because I've been watching for over a year and I have more than I want to give than just the comments um, on everybody else's videos. So I thought I would be brave and see how it goes. My husband just kept asking, you know, I think that's something you're really interested in. Why don't you try it? And he's, he's normally right on what I want, really. So there we go. Uh, second question, what do you bring that is unique on a booktube? Well, I'm 33 and I'm a homeschooling mom of three children. I have an eight-year-old, an almost six-year-old, and an almost two-year-old. Um, so right there, there's a couple different things that make me kind of unique on BookTube. Um, I don't see tons of other moms on here. I get really excited when I do, and so I thought I would make that a little bit bigger and um, support the moms, uh, especially that are readers, because, yeah, it's nice to have other people on here that are like you. So there's that. Um, also, I really enjoy both nonfiction and fiction, and I see a lot of people who do fiction, uh, but not as many who do nonfiction. And there's some really great books. So I thought I would make that a little bit bigger and kind of um, blend the two so so people can kind of maybe branch out a little bit more. Um, also, since I'm homeschooling, I do a lot more with children's literature, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. I think I have a pretty good grasp um, on that. We bring our children's librarians cookies every year because we're at the library like twice a week. I know, <laughs> I know children's books uh, a little bit better than, than I ever thought I would. So I thought I'd give some recommendations and see what other people think. Uh, everybody tends to know at least one child that they want to give a book to. So maybe I can help with that. Um, next question, what are you most excited about? I'm most excited to hear what other people think about what I'm reading and what I think about what I'm reading. Um, I have a lot of friends that enjoy reading, but they, they don't maybe do it as much as I do. I'm normally the one they come to and say, Hey, what should I read next? And, um, yeah, so I thought it'd be nice to kind of expand my community a little bit. Uh, next question, why do you love reading? I love reading because that magical feeling when you walk into a library or a bookstore and you think, I can know all the things, I can learn all the things, I can be all the people. I, I love that even though you only get one life, reading lets you live a lot more than that. That whole reader lives a thousand lives, it's totally how I feel about reading. So that's why. Um, number five, what started you on reading? Uh, I've been reading for a really long time. But I kind of have gone back and forth between fiction and nonfiction. And uh, I've kind of, uh, right now I'm at about a 50% of each. Um, but what got me back into fiction was probably Leanne Mariotti with, um, she did What Alice Forgot a couple years back. And uh, I don't know, I started thinking about maybe I wanted to read more fiction again. She's not really a hefty literary fiction, but she at least asked some good questions. So yeah, that's what got me started. Um, next thing, a uh, question that I would like to ask fellow booktubers. Um, I would like to ask fellow booktubers if you could leave behind one book for somebody, um, like the next generation, to kind of say, hey, this is who I was. Uh, what book would it be? So that's a hard question. And that's one of my boys. <laughs> that's my middle. Um, go ahead, guys. Over there. Um, next question, number seven. What do you think will be your biggest challenge? consistency and um, just having a thick skin if, if uh, negative comments come up. I think everybody has a problem with that, but I'm going to do my best. I've, I'm a mom, so I've heard the worst. <laughs> I could do it. Um, question number eight, when did you start reading? I already said that. I was three. It was a long, long time ago. <laughs> uh, where do you read? Um, I read everywhere. My favorite place to read is Probably a bubble bath with a very quiet house, which hardly ever happens. The quiet part, anyway. Um, and the, I guess the funniest place that I ever was found reading was, yes, this, those are my other two. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. Uh, the funniest place that my husband ever found me reading was he got home from work and I was raking the leaves holding Sarah's Key, which is a really good historical fiction book, in one hand and a rake in the other hand, doing a pretty half assed job. But it was a really good book. So there you go. Um, question number nine. No, that was already number nine. Um, question number 10. What types of book do you read? Uh, 
I read all kinds of books. Like I said before, nonfiction, fiction, historical fiction, memoirs, biography. I don't do tons of fantasy and science fiction, but I'm working on it because um, my husband kind of likes that. So it's nice to share that with him a little bit. Um, I like classics a lot. I like middle grade, YA sometimes, um, a lot of children's books, um, picture books. I'm even starting to read some science and, and that kind of thing. So I don't know. I'm game for anything you put in front of me. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening. I hope this has been good for you, I guess. I don't know. I'm excited and it's, it's good to be on here and to try something new, uh, regardless of how it goes. So thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye.